2020 has been an unexpected year. Um, so much for saying 2020 perfect vision, because this year was definitely not perfect. I decided for one month, this month of October, to record and see how much I can change myself, both physically and mentally. Um, by the end of the month of October, my goal was to become a butterfly, you know? Be beautiful and bold, and be a better version of myself, or at least try to become a better version of myself. So, I set goals for myself on the day before October 1st, and I was very hopeful and I was very happy setting goals for myself. I wanted to become healthier, eat more f healthy foods, and try going vegetarian, uh, take vitamins, uh, develop a face wash care routine, um, jump rope, run, especially in the mornings. Um, I decided to um, record my outfits and dress up and get out of my PJs, go to sleep earlier, um, use my phone less, and take social media breaks. Um, like I said before, when I was writing down these goals, I guess I had high expectations of myself, um, thinking that I would be able to do them. And yes, I was confident, but in reality, um, I guess I was too confident because it's harder than it seems to fulfill the goals. Um, now looking back at my footage, and basically back at the whole month of October, um, I'm actually more happy, I'm more awake. Um, I'm more, I'm proud of myself because even though I didn't fulfill all the goals that I had for myself, I at least became a better, stronger and happy person. Um, so quarantine has affected me so much. Um, it changed my whole routine before I had this whole structure of me working out, me studying, me eating healthy and stuff. But quarantine basically destroyed that. Um, so yeah, it was unexpected. I wanted to go back. But after the whole month of October trying to go back to the way things were before, I realized that that's not how life goes. Um, things change for a purpose and now here looking back at the footage I'm thinking I'm like I actually did it I went through a whole month and even though I didn't fulfill the goals I set for myself then I, I'm still here I'm still happy and life just goes on and it's always important to take a look at yourself every day and list the things that make you happy um, for me I spent the majority of my month and I guess you could say my life studying. I'm always studying, doing work. Um, I always try to make time to do exercise, but it was kind of impossible. So you would see me going outside at 10, 11 at night, jump roping or going for a run in my backyard. Um, people, well, the cars that were passing by would look at me weird, but they just didn't know the struggle I was going through that I just didn't have enough time to focus on myself and the little things do matter and this was something that mattered to me a lot so just going outside and releasing my stress at the end of the day before falling asleep made me feel good about myself um, and although I said I was gonna become vegetarian or vegan that never happened um, I think I actually ate more chicken <laughs> than usual um, so yeah I realized that I can't become vegetarian I just love chicken too much um, and that's okay um, I also tried learning how to play piano but um, as I said before school takes so much time and like looking back at the footage and seeing that at least 75% of it was me studying made me realize that school is a big part of my life and I'm always stressed, so it kind of makes sense that school is causing me stress. So I need to focus more on how to use my time wisely. And I have talked to many people throughout the month of October, and they have all recommended me to go to a session about time management and stress management, and I actually signed up for it, but um, it was in November. So I'll keep you guys um, informed about how it goes, and probably I'll do another month transformation. Who knows? Um, um, I also got a car. Um, I was going. It was actually really unexpected too. I, 
um, I was able to get myself a car and I'm really excited. Sometimes though, I did wake up in the morning and I was like, I quit, I don't want to continue. But then, looking at the footage that I recorded and stuff made me feel like, no, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going because you set a goal for yourself and you need to fulfill it. And that's when I realized that we set goals and expectations for ourselves that sometimes are just unattainable. It might be something simple to you, but once you try to do it, it's not attainable. Um, you could say that I gained some confidence throughout this whole month. I dressed up, I felt good about myself. I did cry. I had a lot of mental breakdowns due to studying for quizzes since October was a big month of full of midterms and papers and projects. It was just really stressful um, and stuff. So it was kind of a tough month. But looking back, I actually did it. Um, it was like a new opportunity for me there. Um, so yes. Uh, October, if I were to describe it, it was unexpected, but it was beautiful, just like the butterfly. Um, the end product may not be appealing to everyone, but to me, it was it was immaculate. It was perfect, and I think that is what matters. Um, I also had some quotes that I looked and wanted to share with everyone. Um, and these quotes were quotes that I found before I started the challenge, actually. Um, so, mental illness is nothing to be ashamed of, but stigma and bias shame us all. And that's important because, like I said, if we know that we're doing something and others don't see the beauty of it or don't see the results, but you do, what you see is what matters the most. And also, mental health is an important topic and it should be discussed more frequently. Um, and it's not attention seeking. And like I said before, I actually had lots of mental breakdowns. Um, I studied a lot, but it was okay. Because in the end, I still continue to be strong. I have a math test tomorrow. And I, I believed in myself that I could I do it. I don't know anything about it. So hopefully I passed that thing. I spent a long time studying and I emailed the teacher back and forth and she helped me. Um, I had to wake up early tomorrow too because I have to take a detour because the normal route I take, they're doing construction, so I have to plan ahead. So I have to wake up earlier and I was supposed to sleep in, um, not sleep in, but go to sleep earlier, but I ended up sleeping up late, so until tomorrow. I'm proud of everything that I was able to do. This month of October was, well, I just felt like it was just yesterday that it was October 1st. But I will definitely continue challenging myself and taking care of my mental health long doing well academically. But always remember to smile at the end of the day.